Beware of eBay's authenticity guarantee. What's up guys, we're back with another live video and today we're talking about a situation that a friend of mine, Andy aka Thug Noodles on Instagram just went through like today I think was when he was posting about it. He had an issue with the authenticity guarantee. If you don't know what the authenticity guarantee is, they recently implemented a new guarantee that if you buy a card, I thought it was $750 or more. I thought it was $750 was the only time you use this authenticity guarantee, but it seems like you have the option at $250 or more. So basically if you buy a card for $750, $150 or more, you are required to send it to an eBay physical location for them to check the authenticity of the card. And it seems as if it's over $250, you have the option to send there. So I thought it was $750 because I sold a Blacklister Soldier for like, I think it was $550 or $600 recently on eBay since they uh, implemented this thing and it didn't require it. I just looked into this a little more and on this screenshot right here that I showed you guys earlier, it says $250 for ungraded cards. So graded cards, patch and autograph cards are not currently eligible. So it looks like my BLS that was graded was not eligible. So they will authenticate ungraded cards, but not graded cards, which I guess they're assuming because it's been graded and authenticated, then it's already been done. But it is a little bit weird. So I guess $250 is the limit. I mean, it's at 250, 750 doesn't even matter. We saw 750 somewhere, but I don't remember what that was for. I thought it was 750. Andy also thought it was 750. But once he got his card that he bought from someone, he only spent $400. It had been authenticated. So he got the card, he opened it up. Basically they had it in, I think a sleeve card saver and then like another sleeve over that or something like that. He opened it up and he looked at the card and he realized, wait, this isn't the condition that I actually ordered. There was a bunch of scuffing on it and stuff like that. So he looked, okay, I'm gonna return this thing. He found out that because it had been authenticated, he could not return it if he opened it out of their like seal or whatever. When it's in the seal, it was really difficult to like actually see the condition of the card. So there was no way he could actually be sure to return it, you know? So basically, they said he needed to have checked it inside of the seal, which there was no way to actually do that with card conditions because you need to be able to put it under light. You need to be able to see all these different angles and stuff like that. And it just doesn't work. Like if you put something like this, there's no way you can tell if the surface is clean. I mean, it's through three different layers of plastic. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense to have to check while it's still sealed. I understand the reason is so that you can't open it up, switch the card, and then be like, hey, I need to return it. That makes sense. The problem is, according to him, he said that he got on the phone with them. They don't actually check the condition to make sure it's correct. They only authenticate it to make sure it's a real card. That's a serious issue. There's no reason that if you already are getting the card out and making sure it's a real card, you should check that, okay, this guy bought a near mint card. He got a mint card. This card is clearly not near mint. Like They should be, che be checking that at the same time. And he did say on his story, I'm gonna be popping his stuff up on the screen, so go give him a follow on Instagram. He also has a YouTube channel, which he does occasionally post. So Andy's keep posting on there. Another thing that he mentioned was this only applies if the seller has no returns or whatever, which usually does not matter on eBay because you have to require a return. But it seems like in this case, they can get away with sending you a card that is not in great shape. So it seems like honestly, once the authenticity guarantee is happening, you know you're going to get a real card, but it seems like Russian roulette if you're going to get the right actual condition. I don't see the drawback for the seller. They send you a card that's like moderate play. They check it out. They don't check the condition. And then once you get the card, you are unable to actually check the condition. Unless there's like an obvious like corner wear or a big gash you can see through all that stuff, then there's no real way to check the surface. The funny part is they have this thing that says genuine peace of mind from start to finish. So basically they're like, yeah, you're going to have peace of mind. You're going to buy this. You don't have to worry about anything. But now now it seems like you have to worry about everything. It's like almost worse now than it was before. Because before, if you got a messed up card, you just return it. It's no big deal. But now you have the messed up card. There's no returning it. I would be like, well, maybe he's missing something, but he got on the phone with them. So this is a serious issue. They also sent him messages. This is from the people he was talking to. I think because cards are so new with eBay authentication, we are all learning the process here as well. So basically they're like, yeah, we, we, we can't do anything about it. We're new. We don't know what's going on. That's scary. So I'm hoping that they will figure this out like ASAP because that's actually a real deal breaker for me. Like personally, I don't want to buy anything off of eBay if this authenticity guarantee is just going to completely screw you over in terms of raw cards. Sure, it's great to get a real card, but if it's in terrible condition and you bought like near mint, then who cares? Like <laughs> you're gonna still going to lose a ton of money. So I thought this was a really important topic to bring up to anybody who's buying on eBay, especially singles, because that seems like something that you'd be like, okay, now I can finally not worry about my cards I'm buying. They're going to get authenticated and checked but they're, they're not really gonna check the condition. So keep that in mind, guys, and uh, 